And hello, and welcome to the Criterion Connection. I'm Wade. And I'm still Joe. And uh, today we're doing something special, uh, because the Criterion channel is kind of uh, doing its little thing. It's doing like a movie of the week thing. Yeah. We decided, let's do that. Let's do the movie of the week, which was, there's two of them. Well, there's two this week, because yeah. uh, because of Albert Finney. Yes. You see how they passed away on the 7th of February? Yeah, so they had a double feature. Yes. So we picked one. Yeah, it's either Tom Jones and this one. So we chose this one. Mm -hmm. a Saturday, uh, sorry, Saturday night and Sunday morning. I keep on saying Saturday morning. Uh, yeah, it's, it stars Albert Finney. Mm -hmm. It's from 1960. It's part of the British New Wave. Yeah, and it uh, deals with a lot of topics and stuff like that. It's basically about this guy who is just, he hates his job, so he goes out and he does, he does things, promiscuous things. Uh, affairs, drinking, lots of drinking. There's falling downstairs at times. Well, it, it it deals with, you know, the fact that he's just kind of not 100% pleased and fulfilled with his life as, you know, a machinist. And he figures that, you know, he's got it all right. He, he just does his job during the week, whatever, gets his paycheck. And then he goes and... Parties all weekend. Yeah. You know, it's very reminiscent of, like, kind of the 80s and 90s where, like, everybody would be working just to go out on the weekends and, yeah. and get all messed up. Until you're working on the weekend. True, I yeah. guess. That sucks. But anyway. Um, yeah, like, this is kind of like he doesn't want normalcy. He want, doesn't want to be... Settling yep. down, doesn't want domestic life, doesn't want that, but he keeps... He wants to keep his life <clears throat> exciting, and so being single and going out every weekend and getting getting into drinking contests with sailors and, like, banging his co-workers' wives, like, yeah. you know, it's kind of stuff he does, living but, dangerously. Yeah, but sadly, like, it's more of a tale of, like, life is, uh, it always catches up to you. Yeah, there's it's consequences a, for your actions. And there's always, it always catches up to you. The normalcy and the domestication, it will hit, it's going to, you're going to, it's going to keep coming around. He's just basically just running around, running away from growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it deals with a lot of stuff like, uh, it's a slight spoiler, but it, it's mostly known for the introduction of, uh, not, he didn't introduce it, no. but you know, the idea of abortion. Yeah, just which is, bringing uh, it up in a in a mainstream British movie. Which if you look it up, uh, it was illegal at the time to have abortion. So mm -hmm. it was very kind of like risque kind of thing. You know, overall, uh, Albert Finney's character is not really likable. He, he's likable, but he's also terrible. Yeah. I, he's also a terrible he's human a, being. He's a flawed you, protagonist. Yes. Uh, to say the least. Yes. You know, he's he's a bit of a charming guy. Uh, he reminds me a lot of um, Marlon Brando and James Dean around yeah. the same time, too, yeah. which is really kind of weird. Yeah. You know, he's he's a good-looking guy. and Has and a magnetism just, about him. And he just can't help but get himself into all these situations. Like, and, and I think there's a really telling line early on where he blames uh, somebody bumping into him for spilling the drink on on the woman. And yeah. then he blames the railing for not being there when he's, like, pissed drunk. And he just falls down the steps. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's a lot of... The, the movie kind of deals with him eventually taking ownership of kind of what he's done and, and the consequences of his actions. Yeah. Uh, where uh, he uh, impregnates his co-worker's wife when they're having an affair, and, you know, he never really kind of dodges it. He's just like, it's like whatever. What, what, are you, what, do you, what are we going to do about this? Like, she wants to, she brings up the, the, the topic of uh, an abortion, and he's like, all right, I mean, maybe I can help with that. And then, like, eventually she comes across a doctor, and he's like, okay, I'll get you the money, you know. And then she decides not to, and he's like, that's fine. Like, like yeah. he never forces her to go one way or another, which is a nice, I think, turning point yeah. for his character. And then also he meets Doreen. Yeah. 
who is the nice girl. That's around his age. It's closer to his age, and and just kind of. I mean, she accepts him for who he is. Like he tells her what happens, and towards the end of the movie. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And in the end, he gets what he wants, or does he? True. Uh, so it's it's the um, it's the British ending of Clockwork Orange. <laughs> yeah. That was the only thing I could think of. Is that it, it ends with uh, him about to settle down. You know, he he ultimately kind of he makes a decision. He kind of proposes in a way to Doreen, and. Uh, and they're sitting there talking about their future, about, you know, eventually moving into, like, a suburban, newer house. And he seems... He doesn't know if that's exactly what he wants, but he knows Doreen's a, a good girl. And and that he probably should, at some point, settle down, and who better than Doreen? And it puts the doubt in your head, like, because after the movie, you're like, what's going to happen? You could see him just being like, yeah. bye, and leaving... I hope not. I don't. Yeah, in my in my idea, he doesn't. <laughs> in my idea, he sobers up. There's also like little cool things, like you know, in the beginning, you notice that his parents aren't really super there for him. Like his dad is just watching TV. So you know, he lost his eyes. My coworker lost his eye because he's watching too much of the telly. And then he's just like, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Well, and and it's not even that they don't like. It's not that they don't love him. And that's what's really oh, no, 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 great no, no. about this movie is it shows people and and it is warts and all. Yeah. You know. And like the, the old lady who always stirs up trouble that you grow to hate along with the main character. Yeah. Like, because he doesn't like her to begin with. The family, like, later on you, it's revealed the family doesn't like her either. And they just think she stirs up trouble all the time, and they're willing to cover for him even when he does something very wrong. Yeah. But, you know. <clears throat> yeah, it's, a, it's you know, his performance is great in this one. He's fantastic in it. Um, you know, I don't have much complaints for it. Maybe they could have trimmed a little bit, but... I don't think so. I don't, it, it, it's, it's one of those things, like, if there's anything, you probably trim, like, a minute. Yeah, it's not. It's <laughs> not. Saying. Yeah, there's not a lot of. Not like there's not a lot of fat to trim off this movie. It's very efficient. Um, it starts the, off all positive and then gets really dark at times. Like the the pacing, you know it. It's not like plotting like you would think it would be, but it's very kind of. It's a very steady pace. It's a. It's a very. It's uh, not like <clears throat> ratcheting. Like it's not super quick, and I think it fits the movie. Yeah. I like to describe it as it's kind of has the vibe of stuff like Naked, where it's just kind of like yeah, it's like a kind of a vagabond kind of movie. It's just kind of like wandering. It, it just follows this guy's life. It's not the most exciting life, and it's and it's over the course of what like maybe a couple weeks. Yeah, so it it, it really does kind of hit on all the important parts, and it does start laying out everything you need. Yeah. For where we end up, yeah. you know, there's nothing like super extraneous, um, you know, because you think maybe the old the old lady, the the one that stirs up trouble, like when he bumps into her early in the movie, yeah, you're like, okay, like what's what's the deal with him and this lady, but it just comes into play later, you know, his stuff with Doreen comes in, him and Brenda and and Jack, they all come in. And, and you always have Bert there as his kind of, like, it's his cousin, but, like, his voice of reason. Yeah. And kind of, you know, you know, you might as well, but I thought you said you were going to get married. And, yeah. You know, all that stuff. Yeah. So, buy, rent, or skip. I think it's a solid, I think it's a buy, dude. Um, the only thing that I think prevents it, like, the only thing I could think of that would prevent it from being a buy for somebody is... It takes a minute to adjust to the language of the movie, because it's not only like an older movie where, if you remember, like on the waterfront and and movies from that time period, kind of can be hard for a now like modern ear. Yeah, it takes a minute to adjust to the the, the language and the slang, and then you just add that to British slang from from that period. Yeah, so <clears throat> it, it kind of takes a minute. But other than that, 
I mean, I think it's a great movie. Yeah. I agree. I'll say bye. You're going to say bye? I'll say bye. It's a good one. It's a, I, I was surprised about this one. I was like, I would only buy... Uh, the issue is... I got to see if it was released on Blu-ray or it had a good transfer or whatever. The Criterion Channel had a good transfer of it. I'll say that. But, you know, any black and white, oh, especially if you buy something, it's like, you know, I'd say buy, definitely buy from the actual Criterion version because mm -hmm. you know that they'll take care of the print and stuff like that. But if you get, like, you know, like a regular DVD, probably it's not going to look good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, I liked it. It's, it's not the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life, but... I think it's worth buying. It's yeah. worth checking out, definitely. It, there's no harm. It's a real solid movie. Yeah. It's actually on Rotten Tomatoes. It has 100%. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you and go. 80, and 87% of the audience like it, so... I mean, chalk up <laughs> another two guys into that, I guess. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it almost... You know, when you watch it, and it's a double feature now with Tom Jones, which is a movie he was nominated for an Oscar for, um, almost makes you want to watch Tom Jones like right after it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but like I said, we're doing a Criterion um, week. Basically, they do one uh, one movie a week. Mm -hmm. So if you sign it for charter people, right? Yeah, charter subscribers. So, they get the I, early. Yeah. Like they get early access, and they're just showing one or two movies a week yeah. up until I think April. The release yeah. in April. <clears throat> yeah, the actual release date's in April, but I think charter subscribers might get access to it like maybe a month before yeah. too. Um, also, I think I think you can still subscribe to be a charter member and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, the push that maybe we can do that every week or something like that. Maybe unless we have something special planned or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, maybe we'll let you know on the Twitter, which you can follow us on Mint Condition MCP on Twitter. We'll post something like saying, like, okay, this week's m movie that they're showing, we're going to do it this week so you can watch it before yeah. uh, we do the episode. But we have a lot, like, kind of like penciled in on certain dates, so it might conflict on that, <clears throat> uh, especially with the new May announcements mm -hmm. of uh, what they announced was coming out on in May for Criterion, which is... Some big deals. Ah, chef's kiss uh, on that. Um, yeah, so let's know... What you want us to review when that channel comes up? We're definitely going to start doing more suggestions because you know. we'll have access to them. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have access to all those movies. Um, so, let us know in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday morning? Keep on saying Saturday morning. Yep. <clears throat> um, what do you think? And then the other British New Wave movies yes. that we should check out because yes. I haven't seen very many. Yeah. Um, and you know, like the video if you liked it. Share it around. Subscribe. Yeah. Share. Definitely share. Like he said, share it. <clears throat> Spread the word. Uh, so until next time, I guess that's it. I'm Wade. And I'm still Joe. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.